Hi everyone, my name is Rodney Smith. I'm here with Board Game Geek at Spiel 2018. I'm also being joined by Winnie Chang of Emperor S4 Games. You brought a game with you here. This is called Walking in Burano. That's right. And, and tell me a little bit about this game. This uh, looks like we're taking a walk in Burano. Is that sort of the theme as well that carries through? Well, you're through? walking there and you're helping them to um, kind of repaint their houses. So Burano, in the okay. island of Burano, there's a lot of beautiful houses. They're very colorful. So right. Here we're trying to paint them in a certain way that makes it beautiful and then you will be scored according to that. Okay, so we're taking a walk and we're doing some good deeds along the way as well. We're going to yeah. paint up some homes. All right. <laughs> so how does it work? Tell me a little bit about okay. how the game plays. So you're going to first by drafting cards, the building cards. So we have first floor, second floor, and third floor. So all of the houses are three stories high. Right. Okay. So you can take up to three cards. You can take, when you take the card, you can take one roll, or mm -hmm. you can take two cards, right. or these two. You cannot, like, skip and take the middle card. So you got to take it from the same roll, and you got to start from the outside. I gotcha. Okay, so if you don't take all three cards, then you can take some money. So if you only take one building card, you, can, you get two points. If you okay. get um, two building cards, you get one point. But you at least have to take one building card. All right. Okay, after you picked out your buildings, now you get to build. Let's say I take, let's say I take these three, okay? Yes. And then I start with some money here. Right. Okay. So, if I want to build one house, I would pay um, one dollar. If I want to build another one, I'll pay two. And if I want to build a third one, I'll pay another two. So, by building the houses, you will just put them down here. And the rule of building houses is that you have to make, one building has to be the same color. So, if I want to build this building here, I would have to make a yellow house. Yes. Okay, and then the, your neighbor cannot be the same color as you. And what I, do you always have to start with the ground floor? Is that right? Or? That's right. Okay. You don't build. No, just, well. You don't just build the second floor <laughs> in the air. Right? That's true. But sometimes you can have scaffolds. Uh huh. So right. Each player gets two scaffoldings, and they're double sided. So this is the first floor. If you right. flip over, that's the second floor. Okay. So you can move them around freely during your turn. I see. All right. Okay. So let's say I put this scaffolding here. All right. And then now I can build the third floor because there's support like in here. Yes. Okay. So let's say, for example, I have another one and then I build complete a three story house. Right. Then someone, like a visitor, will come and score me. So we have our visitors right here. They all like different things that the element from your house is. So, for example, this girl right here. Actually, let's take this girl right here. This girl right here, she likes um, flowers. So for every flowers on your building, here you get one oh, point. Okay. Oh, okay. That's why this is different characteristics. It's not just the color. I see there's like three different flower pots there. There's a whole bunch on the bottom of that one. Those are plants. So some people like their this cat lady here. She likes cats. So if we got one on the roof. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. if you have her, she'll give you three points. Okay. So some of the cars score only one building straight up, but we have other ones. For example, so Santa Claus here, he scores the whole neighborhood. Right. So how many chimneys do you have? So yeah. you have? For every chimney you have, you get three points. Right. So during the game, you can, so like depending on what kind of building you build, what element is on your um, building, you will then ask different visitors to come and score their houses. So you will pick which visitor you send to the home, is that right? So while you're building your house, you're thinking ahead to who do I want to come by and that's you know, right, that's later. right. And right. you really want to plan ahead because each of the card is limited. So once your opponent get like, you know, all of the cat lady, then you, know, right. you have all these cats and they don't give you points. Okay. Yeah. So um, in the end of the game, we have, let's say, five. So one person can only build five houses. So if a right. player builds five complete buildings, then the game the will end. The end? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that will be the last round. And and then whoever has the most points, I assume, yes. wins the game, right? Yes. And, and how long does this take to play, would you say? About half an hour as well. Half an hour to 40 minutes. So and it's a slightly shorter than the um, yeah. and, and how many players? This is um, one this to four? Is, is that right? Well. So it has solo play as well, if you want to play solo. Yes. Right. Excellent. Is, is this available right now? It's also available here in SM, we're hoping to bring it out next year, early next year, in the other markets. Okay, well, thank you so much for giving us a little tour and a little walkthrough of walking in Burano.